when I see great things happening in life, people doing great things, amazing things, where I see the hard work, the passion, the love, all of the struggle to the just to succeed in whatever they are doing. That stuff is so inspirational and moti motivational for me when I see other people succeeding and doing the great things. And in this case, it is the UFC 202 main event. I already made the whole live reaction video with it. You can see I'm pretty damn amped up to it. But in retrospectively, I have been thinking it so much and it has been giving me so much motivation to better myself, better doing, doing my things even better than I was doing them last week, pushing a little bit harder and just pu putting that work in a little bit more, trying to be the best version of myself as I can. Because Conor McGregor, that guy's unreal. So is Nate Diaz. Nate Diaz has so much heart so much self-belief I think and he is who he, he he is who he is he is who he is he doesn't try to be somebody else he says what he wants to say he acts like he wants to act and that is that is one beautiful thing by itself being who you are like not pretending to be something else not being fake person but Conor McGregor, when I see all of the... I have been following him very closely for years now, when he came to UFC. And I think he's my favorite athlete at the moment. And it's not just his athleticism, it's his mindset, mindset, the self-belief. Check out this clip that his coach said after the match. When you see what happens at the press conference with the bottles being thrown and whatnot, and just his intensity at the open workouts, dropping the mic, were you ever concerned? Did you ever sit down and talk to him about, you know, not getting too excited? You know, were you concerned at all about the emotions when you saw these things play out on fight week? Um, I was a little bit, but I'll, I'll tell you a secret. Okay. That I had a plan to sit down and, and do this speech with him. And after the weigh-ins, we were backstage on our own, and he just looked at me dead in the eye, cold, and said, the illusion of insanity is over. Now it's game plan. And I was like, well, okay. I, what, my job is done. What, what am I, I going to add to that? Oh you know, my. So he stood up there, and he did the screaming, and you know, the posturing, and then just come back out of stage, and, and like a serial killer just... What? Looked at me and, and said that. That might be the greatest line of all time. Like, damn, my mind was blown by that. That guy has some serious, serious mental, mental power, self-belief. The mindset of that guy. Damn, that stuff is so motivating. And when I saw all of the hard work, all of the game planning, all of that stuff, and then he wins the match and shows so much heart, so does Nate. It is war. Man, that that just for me as an athlete and as a person, that's so so inspirational. And of course I'm a huge MMA fan, so this affected me pretty damn deeply. But this can be applied to anything else in life. Science whatever science relationships friendships all of the all of the aspects of life when people do something great something where where it, it's just all passion hard work love and succeeding all of that stuff it's so so fun to see and so inspirational to see for me at least but now I'm gonna go training, I'm gonna go do what I love to do and I'm gonna take you guys with me this time. Let's head into the bat cave and do something great with or I do something great with this thing right here that I'm living in. So let's go guys. Bah!
Nobody works harder than me inside the octagon, outside the octagon. I am a workhorse, so I am going to enjoy the benefits of this life. I am going to get myself a big mansion in Las Vegas. I am going to get the soft top cars. I am going to bring my whole team out. I am going to spoil them and give them this life. It's, it's human nature. Some people will sit and take positivity from that. They will look at that and, and take inspiration and inspire. It will inspire them to go and push for that. Others will shell up and critique it and, and, and be negative towards it. But one thing is for sure, those people will stay where they are. The people who take inspiration from it will rise up and, and also one day experience that life. Tonight we'll see and hear firsthand this kind of sound. Let's hear the rest of it. Welcome to the dinner table with the vegan ninja boy, vegan athlete. And yeah, where do you get your energy, the recovery, the protein, the fats, all that good stuff? Well, let me show you guys what I'm having for dinner. Firstly, of course, the dirty hippie that I am. I gotta have raw vegan salad. But for real, salads raw vegetables like this one has couple different kind of salads tomatoes leek cucumber zucchini uh, it has avocado tons of avocado and it has amazing mango tomato dressing that that's really good that's really good so i i'm i'm enjoying a few raw vegan salads a few times a week and i feel absolutely amazing after them so raw vegan Sometimes it's it's really good really good stuff But the thing about salads are that you can't really get that much calories with them You have to eat so damn much if you want to get all of the calories you need to train hard. So BAM Look at that. We got Vegan pizza once again. We got some zucchini tofu mushrooms onions pineapple and my homemade homemade sauce with some chickpeas and nuts and tomato paste damn damn one big salad and one big pizza i think i'm gonna be fine and training again tomorrow if you got any questions leave them down in the comments about my dinner my training whatever subscribe for more videos of course leave a like if you can and i will, got, I will see you guys in the next video I'm gonna eat now.